Surprise, surprise. I said that like Gomer Pyle. Border czar Kamala Harris is still not taking the crisis seriously. The vice president is skipping a big meeting in Mexico with Secretaries Mayorkas and Blinken. Instead, on Friday, she was in Jersey, New Jersey, visiting a daycare center, and then she stopped by a bakery, and she also had time to film this little gem, the space video for kids, which critics are calling cringeworthy. I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. You're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your oh, own eyes. Oh, I, I want you to really remember this. Never let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Got that? Yes. yes All right. I got more advice. You just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. <laughs> she's like a, she's kind of like a cheerleader on psilocybin. <laughs> you know, it's like this weird bubbly, but you don't know why. And I like the fact that she is worse with children than I am, right? <laughs> she should take a page out of my book. Don't interact with brats. They ask you to do this. Don't do it. It makes you look bad. But she's, remember, she is fake. I mean, she's super fake. Remember, she was the one that called Joe Biden the worst thing you could ever call yeah. somebody these days, which is racist. And when they, she was asked about it again when she became VP, she was like laughing. She just laughed. She goes, ah, that was a debate. I mean... Calling somebody a racist knowing it's not true, that's pretty bad. And I understand why she's, they have her talk about the moon. They want her as far away from any other kind of practical issues, like get her to the moon. Next week, she'll be on Blue Origins with William Shatner. <laughs> she should be. <laughs> but they, the, so they get her away from what she's supposed to be responsible for, and that's the border crisis. But then they do this. Give us some. Do well, give me the dope on. The I don't know. Dope I don't know what's happening. I don't understand it. I really think that her instincts seem to be really off because um, if you followed her Senate career, she never actually passed a bill, but she showed up at every press conference to talk about the bills that had passed. And the the root causes of the immigration debacle are they are not going to be solved within this administration where she could go on and give a press release. If you remember when she had the gaffe where she laughed about going to the border. The next day, it was when President Biden said, well, now you're in charge of the border. And then about five days later, they're like, actually, no, just the root causes of the border. <laughs> so here's this person who achieved an, an incredible accomplishment. She is the first woman vice president in our country. It's an amazing accomplishment. It comes with a lot of power and a lot of prestige, and she doesn't use any of it. And it drives me crazy. I never, if I were in her position, I never would have let those three guys go down to Mexico without me. I would have said, actually, you can fly on Air Force Two with me and you can brief me along the way and then we'll walk in there together as a team and I will be the one that is speaking at the... You know, I would like, take charge of it. Instead, I, it's perfectly fine to talk about space with kids. It's great. But if you think about the enormity of the power that she has and the capacity and the capabilities that should come with that office and she's not utilizing it, it drives me nuts. At least she didn't sniff the kid's hair. Mm -hmm. That I think we can be thankful for. And she <laughs> doesn't love people that explore the unknown. She's anti-Columbus. That's the best explorer of the unknown we've ever seen. There's two scenarios going on. One, she had the immigration thing removed from her portfolio because the last time she went down there, she brought nothing back and then border crossings explode. Or she herself removed immigration from her own portfolio. And now Joe Biden is sending pretty much the whole cabinet down there. But Biden's running out of time. He can't just keep sending everybody down south to deal with immigration. Eventually, it comes to Joe. Yeah. Joe's never been to the border. It's only been, what, nine months, and he's already deputized five people to go fix this problem. He's at 28 percent approval on the border. He's going to have to do something executive action or administratively mm -hmm. to repel people from crossing into this country instead of absorbing them. You know how... I know that this is a big problem because Harold Hillary Clinton came out, to, I think it was today, and said she will never be out of the game of politics. Oh. So she sees President stumble bus, mm -hmm. and then Kamala Harris. Maybe she sees. She says she's not going to run for anything, but we know that might not be true. I've said before. I think Secretary Mayorkas is probably a good guy, but he is not a man you want when a crisis is underway. I would think differently about that, and maybe she's best not to be on that plane. Mm -hmm. Two, they need to. The Democrats need to give the wall. Build the wall. Republicans, invest in the hemisphere. Democrats, it's important that we send more judges and Republicans, uh, Democrats, Republicans, like more judges to these asylum courts to expedite this stuff at the, at, the, at, the, at the border. And Republicans, let's get a dreamer's bill 
in five, that's the only way we get to a path to citizenship, which is what you guys tried to get to under President Bush. President, President Biden doesn't seem to have a policy. To your point, it does come back to him. As much as I want to blame some of the others as personnel, if you don't have a policy, policy for them to execute, it's hard to fully blame them in, as to how they're managing this. We need a policy here. If not, the polling data shows this border crisis in the Afghan botch is a huge part of why these numbers are where they are. The 2022 elections and the 2024 election will depend a lot on how we handle this going forward. Airport Say my Jr. name again. Here we go. Airport Jr. <laughs> <laughs> she will be remembered, though, for that, like, pre-K <laughs> speech that she just gave four score and seven years ago. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.